What's up everyone? Welcome back to Super Carmio. With cold weather upon us, I've noticed that the shifter in the Miata is a little bit notchy, and I know it's not the bushings because I just recently rebuilt it, so I have a feeling it's the fluid itself, which I'm guessing has never been changed. Uh, so today we're going to be just tackling the transmission fluid, and while we're there, we're going to also do an oil change. So it should be a pretty simple, quick video, but I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so here are the fluids we're going with. We're going with the Redline MT90, two quarts of that, and it's a GL4 transmission oil, and then uh, just a synthetic 10W30 motor oil. First thing we're gonna do is just get the car up in the air on all fours. All right, so time to drain the fluid. First thing you want to do though is just make sure you could get the fill plug off. Um, you don't want to drain the transmission without being able to fill it back up. So the fill plug is actually this rectangular plug right there. It's not really a standard size. So I'm just going to use an adjustable crescent wrench to try to get that off. And then the drain plug is right here and that's a 24 millimeter socket. Let's see if we can get this off. Alright, so after we have the fill plug off, we are going to remove this drain plug right there. So the cool thing about the drain plug is it's actually magnetic, so um, you could see if you have any huge chunks of metal shavings or not. Next, I'm just going to put some anti-seize on the threads. Then we'll put the drain plug back on. I'm gonna use one of these convenient hand pumps to get the fluid into the transmission now. So next we're gonna pump this fluid in. It should take around two quarts, uh, so two of these bottles, but what you're gonna wanna do is put this inside of the fill hole and then pump it in until some fluid seeps out and then you'll know that you're topped off. So that's one part down, now for the next. Two quarts later and we're gonna thread the heel plug back in. All right, next we'll take care of the oil, just a 19 millimeter socket on the drain. Alright, I'm using a Mazda OEM filter and I'm just going to put some oil on the seal just to help it. Alright, next we're going to fill it up with 3.8 quarts of 10W30. Well guys, just got back from a quick spin in the Miata and I gotta say it feels a hundred times better. Before with the old transmission fluid, I noticed that it would take a while to heat up and before that period it would basically be really notchy and imprecise, but now it's pretty much good to go right upon startup. So I'm pretty happy about that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.